So what I'd like you to do is find either a comfortable sitting position. Uh, you can sit on a bolster as I am here, or you can sit onto a chair, just a, a chair with good support in the back, or you can stand for this practice as well. So whatever is comfortable for you. And just make sure that you are really nice and comfortable and that you're warm. So if you are in the winter, don't be in a room that's too cold or if it is a bit chilly, wherever you happen to be, just be wearing lots of layers. So we're going to begin the practice today just by, if you're standing, just have your arms down by your sides or one hand on top of the other on the lower abdomen. And if you're sitting, you can have the hands, one hand on top of the other over the lower abdomen or just resting on your knees or your thighs, palms facing down or up. So whatever is comfortable for you. Once you've found a comfortable position, then close your eyes. Close your mouth and rest the tongue against the roof of the mouth. The tip of the tongue rests against the back of the upper teeth. And bring a smile to the corners of your mouth. So in nearly all the Qigong breathing that we do, the breathing is in and out through the nose. Unless your nose is blocked, if you have a cold or a sinus infection, then you may need to use the mouth to breathe as well. Generally speaking, the breath is in and out through the nose. So just in order to relax and bring yourself into your practice today, keeping the eyes closed, We'll begin with a little abdominal breathing. And abdominal breathing is the basis of nearly all the Qigong exercises that you'll be learning with me. So just gently, as you're breathing now, start to bring the breath a little bit deeper into the lower abdominal area. As you inhale, feel the lower abdomen expanding forwards, sideways, and back towards your spine. So as though you're inflating a balloon with the inhalation. And then as you breathe out, just allow the abdomen to deflate. You don't have to really do anything with the exhale. Just allow everything in the abdominal area to relax and allowing the whole of the physical body to relax along with it. So breathing in, feel the belly expand, breathing out, relaxing the whole body, letting go of any areas of tension or discomfort that you might feel. Checking that the shoulders are moving down well away from your earlobes. And also, as we bring ourselves into this state of relaxation, be aware of any thoughts that may be passing through your mind right now. You may find that your mind is quite busy. That's fine. Just observe the thoughts as they come and go. And if you find that you're getting a little distracted, then simply bring yourself back to the breathing. In your mind's eye, watching the inhalation and the belly expand, the exhalation and the belly shrinking. So by gently bringing your focus back to your breath, each time you feel distracted, distracting thoughts creeping in, this will keep you focused on your practice. And now staying in this lovely relaxed state, gently open your eyes so that you can see me. So whichever position you're in at the moment, whether sitting or standing, we're going to perform an exercise now, which was actually in the last Qigong winter routine in part one. 
two weeks ago. And it was working with the kidney system because the kidney system in Chinese medicine is associated with winter time. So the kidney system is our foundation of many important functions in the body. And it's very important to look after it because it's also particularly affected by cold. And those of you who feel, you know, or who have experienced sitting with your back towards a draft or the cold, you feel that your lower back is particularly sensitive because that's where your kidneys are. So we're going to work with one of what's called the six healing sounds. So each sound of the six healing sounds is associated with a different organ system. And the sound we're going to work with today is the kidney sound, which is chui, chui. And by making this sound, what you can help to do in your body is to get rid of any waste chi, any turbid chi, any discomfort in the lower back and the kidney area. And it's always a good practice when you begin a qigong routine to clear out whatever is giving you any source of discomfort to kind of clear out the clutter before you start with any exercises that may be bringing lovely fresh energizing chi in from the outside and working to do any kind of building up. So we want to get rid of all the, the stuff that's hanging around that's of no use to us first. So by making this sound, it assists in that process. You don't have to think too much about how it's happening or what exactly why it's happening, but just know that making this sound can be really helpful. And so what we're going to do is we're going to give a little bit of movement along with that, and we're going to lift up the arms and then just look over to one side, let the arms drop down, looking down at that side and say chui. And then coming up, float the arms up, down to the other side, chui. And up, chui. And up, chui. And up. Chui. Now we'll do it with the breath. Inhale to the center. Exhale. Chui. Inhale to the center. Exhale. Chui. Inhale. Chui. Inhale. Chui. And just keep going like this for a little while. Chui. As fast or as slow. Chui. As you feel is appropriate for you. Chui. Chui. Tray, 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 tray. And as you practice this, tray, just be mindful that any waste chi, any waste energy is leaving the lower back area, the kidney area and disappearing down into the ground. Tray, 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 tray. Two more, tray, tray. And then coming back, allowing the hands to rest down on your thighs or down by your side if you're standing. And if you're practicing that exercise outside in public, you may not want to make the sound too loudly, but you can just do it as a whisper or even mouthing the sound and that will still be of benefit to you. So that's cleaned out any waste chi from the kidney system. So now what we're going to do is just get the chi moving a little bit, but obviously we don't want to be doing anything too energetic. Remember, we're thinking of conserving our energy reserves in the winter time. So just following along with me, this exercise is called supporting heaven. And some of you who've done Qigong before may have done this exercise before because it's the first one in a series of eight called the eight pieces of brocade, which is quite a famous Qigong exercise or set of exercises. So just follow along with the movement to begin with. And this is just a lovely movement just to gently open, or help to open everything up in terms of getting the circulation of chi and of blood flowing throughout the whole body. So beginning with one hand on top of the other, just in front of your lower abdomen area. 
and then just lifting the, the hands up by bending in the elbows, trying not to lift the shoulders at this stage. Now turn the palms towards you, both hands are still together, and then turn them down towards the ground, and then out away from you, and up towards the ceiling. And if you can't go too far with this, because of any shoulder restrictions, that's fine. Don't ever go into pain with any of these exercises. Mind your neck and your shoulders. Looking up at the hands, if your neck allows it. And then parting the hands out to the side. Palms begin to face down. Now drop the shoulders here. And you'll see that by dropping the shoulders, this helps to bring the arms down. And then coming back towards the center in front of the abdomen, one hand on top of the other. So now let's do it with the breath, breathing in up towards the heart center by bending the elbows, turn the hands over, and now breathe out up to the sky. Looking up at the hands, parting the hands, now breathing in. You may need to go a little bit faster here with your in-breath. And then breathe out to finish. The breath again, in, breathe out, look up at the hands, part the hands, breathe in, hands coming down towards the ground and breathe out back to where you started. So let's just do a few rounds of that. In, at whatever speed is comfortable for you. Breathe out, look up at the hands. Just looking up at the hands stretches the liver channels, the stretching of the arms stretches the liver channels, which run up and down the sides of the body. So really helping to benefit any sensations or feelings of anger and frustration, any kind of pent up feelings. Breathe out, in, and then breathe out. So you may find with that movement of parting the hands and coming, bringing them back down towards the ground here, you may need to go a little bit faster depending on the speed and comfort of your inhale. In, breathe out. And aiming to make this movement as smooth and flowing as possible. Really feeling that lovely stretch into the body. And now as you part the hands with your mind, think of your fingertips, inhaling, drawing in lovely chi, lovely energy from the environment into your body to energize and nourish it. If you're very happy with this movement and you don't need to look at me any longer, try it with your eyes closed and see how that feels. As you bring the hands back down, the head comes back to face the front. As you come up with the hands, the eyes and the head look up if your neck allows it. And then as you come down with the hands, the head comes back to its original position. Let's just do two more. And to finish, just bringing one hand to rest on the lower abdomen, the other hand directly on top of that. Closing the eyes for a moment. Just observing any sensations in the body, any heat or coolness, any observations about your state of mind. Do you find as you practice that, that 
you were experiencing any random distracting thoughts or did you find that your mind was quite clear and focused on the movement and the breath of the exercise? Qigong can be very helpful for bringing us into the present and just giving us a break from those distracting thoughts for a while. And now keeping your eyes closed, just breathing into your belly, using your abdominal breath. You can keep your hands where they are. You can allow them to be down by your side. You can have the hands face down on your thighs if you're sitting or facing up. Or this is the point, if you'd like to, um, and if you're watching the video replay when I send it out, if you want to pause the video, you can now lie down. So if you're sitting cross-legged, this is also a good point to change the cross of the legs. So with the eyes closed now, we're going to move into quick little meditation. So just using your abdominal breathing. We're not going to be moving the body anymore. So allowing your body to really settle and relax into a position where you can comfortably lie still. And this method is called Relax, Expand and Nourish the Heart. So those of you in my Space to Relax Qigong program will have probably done this before. And also those of you who have downloaded my free audio meditation, which is called Calm Your Busy Mind in Eight Minutes. This is the exercise. So if you haven't yet downloaded that, I'll put the link to it in the replay for this video. So with your eyes closed, you're not moving your body at all. And we're going to work with your breath and your mind, starting at the head and moving down towards the feet. So I'm going to ask you to think of a body part one at a time as we move down through the body. And you're going to exhale and think of relaxing and expanding that whole body part as you breathe out. So with the head, for example, you're thinking of the head moving out. Again, this idea of the balloon, so in a 3D kind of direction, so out to the sides, forward from the face, up from the top of the head, down into the neck, out from the back of the head. So as you breathe out, the whole of the head in your mind's eye is going to expand. So you're not moving your head at all. It's really all, all of this is happening in your mind. And then we'll move down through the other parts of the body. So closing your eyes now, the mouth is closed. The tongue is resting against the roof of the mouth and the tip of the tongue resting against the back of the upper teeth. And just following along with my voice. So just start with two or three abdominal breaths to settle and relax into this exercise. And now bring your mind to your head. And the next time you breathe out, your mind's eye, relax and expand your head in all directions. Next, bring your mind to your neck. And as you breathe out, Relax and expand the neck. Now bring your mind to your shoulders. Breathing out, relax and expand the shoulders in all directions. Now thinking about the upper arms. And as you breathe out, relax and expand the upper arms. Next, bring your mind to your elbows. Breathing out, relax and expand your elbows from deep within the joint outwards in all directions. Now thinking about the forearms. Breathing out, relax and expand the forearms. Next, bring your mind to your wrists. Thinking deep within the joint, breathing out, 
Relax and expand the wrists. Now bring your mind to your hands. As you breathe out, relax and expand the hands to the very tips of all the fingers. Bring your mind now to your chest and upper back. Breathing out, relax and expand the chest and upper back. Think about the chest and upper back. Just one more time, relax and expand the chest and upper back. This area can often be quite tight. Now bring your mind to your abdomen and lower back. Breathing out, relax and expand the abdomen and lower back. Now bring your mind to your hips, thinking deep within the hip joint. As you breathe out, relax and expand the hips in all directions. Think about the thighs. As you breathe out, relax and expand the thighs. Now bring your mind to your knees and from deep within the knee joints, relax and expand as you breathe out. Bring your mind now to your lower legs. Breathing out, relax and expand the lower legs. Next, think about your ankles. As you breathe out, Relax and expand the ankles from deep within the joint outwards. Thinking now about your feet. Breathing out, relax and expand the feet and the toes to the tips of all the toes. Think about your lower abdomen. Come back to your abdominal breathing. In, feel the belly expand. Breathing out, feel the belly shrinking. Bring a smile to the corners of your mouth. And just take a moment to observe how you feel, having relaxed your body from head to toe. Keeping the eyes closed now, Bring the palms of the hands together and rub them until they get really, really hot. If you're wearing glasses, you want to take them off now. That's what you're going to do next. When your hands are nice and hot, you're going to place one palm over each eye, fingers facing up towards the ceiling, feeling the heat from your palms going into your eyes, through the back of your eyes, in order to nourish your mind. Now to bring yourself back into the room, just give yourself a little face wash, little face massage. And as you do that, gently opening the eyes and just giving the hands a little shake out. Maybe giving the shoulders a little bit of a shake just to kind of wake yourself up a little bit. 